All right, lads and gents, um, I'm taking a couple liberties here. Technically, this should be the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are the next in line of the best fan bases when it comes to showing me some love on the channel and whatnot. But the team after that is the Packers. I am on a bit of a time crunch. I want to do a good job with the Steelers and really learn a lot of stuff. And if I do Packers, I can fly through it. So I'm going to do Packers. And then next week, we're going to kick it off with the Steelers and then whatever else we got going on. Um, but at least with this, I'm confident that I'll be able to kind of fly through this and not really have to worry about um, just not having a, very much time. I'm, I'll try to show you some of the resources that I usually do because I don't know. Maybe that's part of the appeal of what's going on. I don't know. Um, but again, it's going to be – let's go ahead and pause. It's going to be uh, – I have a Green Bay Packers podcast, Packernet Podcast, if you are interested in checking that out. Bottom line is, though, I, I live and breathe it 24 hours a day, so I, I just have a general understanding, and I don't need to go back and forth a million times. I will be showing um, the resources in terms of the players, though, because I want to take a look at those, especially when we get a little bit later. But why don't we just go ahead and get started here? Thank you all for joining me. We're going to get this going. Um, trading up is not out of the realm of possibility it's not a need it's not massive the Packers have kind of from top to bottom um needs I mean they're not going to go quarterback but could they go wide receiver yes tackle yes center guard defensive tackle edge technically as far as depth is not impossible cornerback is a need safety isn't massively a need but you could go there for depth linebacker could be important so pretty much top to bottom um, so unless there's a massive value, for example, Trey Lance, not for the Packers, but that's the example of like, holy cow, we're sitting here at 16 and Lance is still sitting there. That's the kind of thing I'd be interested in. Um, but to be completely honest, I, I'd almost rather trade back just to get more swings at it, especially if we get a little, you know, whatever. But what kind of Trey is to, oof, oof, Bears get Trey. Oh, why you got to do me like that on a Packers mock, dude? Come on. Trey Lance falls to the Bears at 27th overall. Okay, all right. You're going to be like that. You're going to be like that on my Packers mock. All right, cool. Um, the one thing that's standing out to me, and there's a lot of really good options here. I mean, Elijah Vera Tucker would be fantastic. Christian Barmore would be huge. Uh, but also Rashad Bateman would be glorious. So because there's three, and also I'm a big fan of, of Zayvon Collins as well, I think I'm going to let this play out, but we're going to kind of do a, a clip. See, I just, ah, ugh! Back to back. All right, that's fine. Barmore's fallen quite a bit. Again, I don't want to trade up, especially for an interior offensive lineman or a linebacker. I'm not saying I won't take them, but do I want to trade up for them? Probably not. Kadarius Tony would be fantastic. Um, I think Sam Cosme, Jalen Mayfield, all all options. So I'm kind of thinking we're going to let this run out and just trust, and we're we're doing pretty well. It's a big steal for the uh, the Baltimore Ravens right there. Kadarius Tony just went. So at the very least, we got these two guys. We got Tevin Jenkins is a big pick for the Packers. Rondale Moore, um, and he just went. So that, I mean, that has a brutal little gauntlet there. We lost one, two, three, four in a row. This was a back-to-back -back killer. I mean, it's for those of you screaming, you should trade up. You might have been right, but that's all right. We'll sit here. The question, though, is if we wanted to trade back, do we have some options? Um, the obvious answer is yes. I do like Leatherwood quite a bit. Um, but it's, it's kind of, I mean, we're going to miss out on Zavin. Not that I necessarily want to go that route. He is the top guy available. And by the way, if we, well, let's just look at it very quickly here. Um, as far as his grades go, just unbelievable. I mean, the guy is just primo. Um, we are in 2019. We want to go to 2020. Thank you very much. And look at this. Coverage, 93.7. Pass rush, 90.6. He had 16 pressures out of 51 attempts, four sacks out of that. Run defense isn't massively elite. And again, I'm kind of opposed to, as a general rule, linebacker early when you can get it later. Um, a guy like Jalen Mayfield, I think, would make a little bit more sense getting that right tackle because it kind of sets in action what the Packers are going to do because they have so many moving pieces. Um, they don't actually have an actual right tackle. They've got a, a guard that plays tackle by the name of Billy Turner, and I call him that because he spent the vast majority of his time playing guard. Um, you've got other guys that can play tackle, but you don't have a guy that's like a legit right tackle. Um, this guy is a legit right tackle, six foot five, 320 pounds. Obviously didn't play a ton. His grades are decent, but not super elite. But as you can see, he 
is a right tackle. Played a little left tackle, but he is a right tackle. Wouldn't hate that option. Um, if we look at Mr. Tevin Jenkins, again, getting a ton of love. And again, remember, we have to trust that he can go to right tackle. Pretty much anybody you think can. If you look at the grades here, that's just remarkable. 93.6 run blocking, which when you're talking about the new age Green Bay Packers, you got to be able to pass block. But being a dominant run blocker is going to be important, especially, you know, you get A.J. Dillon going behind this, this absolute hog of an offensive lineman. He's not bad. 6'6", 320, you know, I, I like it. I do like it. Um, continue on. We don't want a running back. We got Wyatt Davis. I'm starting to lean toward trading back, but I don't want to go back too far. I'm just curious, just out of curiosity, if we go to the top of the second round, what could we get for it? Just just out of curiosity fourth round pick is too much how about this one see you can get another fourth so what are we going to miss how many picks do we got one two three four four picks i like zavin jalen tevin wyatt i think i'm just going to do it man i know people are not happy with me but i like picks and um i think i'm just going to do it and then we'll just hope Friar Muth. So we lost Jenkins. Friar Muth was a, a gift from heaven um, because I don't care about Pat Friar Muth. Jalen, that stings a little bit. We still got Zavin. So the, the value for Zavin is pretty remarkable. I don't think the Buccaneers are going to go that way, but my luck with these things, I always get robbed. Unfortunately, we're probably going Wyatt Davis if they go Zavin here. At this point, Zavin is such a good value, and that was the best pick available then. I think I might go Zavin. If, if one of those other guys was available, I might do that. Um, let me look at Alex Leatherwood really quickly. I'm just curious here to see what we get out of this. Because, um, again, I, do, I would really, really like a long-term right tackle if we can get him. And Alex Leatherwood is a very – I mean, he's. I mean, that's that's Tevin Jenkins. In terms of numbers, you're getting a massive human being, 6'6", 312. He plays for a bigger program. Basically the exact same grades in 2020. Good pass blocker, elite run blocker. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's very similar to Tevin Jenkins. I think I might go Alex Leatherwood. I know people are going to be mad because they wanted Zavin anyways, and it's still a little bit of a reach, but, you know, I don't really want Terrace Marshall. I'm going to go Alex Leatherwood. So we traded back to the top of the second round, picked up a fourth-round pick, still got a top-tier offensive tackle. Again, for those that don't know, and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself in case something – oh, ah. Oh, Elijah Moore is tempting. Um, this is NFL Mock Draft Database, and the reason I like to use it is because they use an aggregated uh, big board. So they're taking all the other big boards, they average them out, and there you go. Um, so we got Landon, who can come in and be that center or the interior guy. I think that would be fantastic. Elijah Moore is a great option. Dylan, I'm not a big fan of because we just got a tackle tackle. Um, Javon Holland would be fantastic. He can be sort of that safety slot corner hybrid um tyson campbell would be a good option at cornerback elijah molden so we'll we'll let it play out there's nobody i feel the desperate need oh i missed a couple guys here i'm not a big fan of davion nixon very much creed humphrey would be fantastic but i just think that's a little ridiculous to trade up for oh no now he's gone all right we're getting a little closer and we could always utilize that fourth round pick to move back up if we wanted to elijah moore does get me very excited i'm a big fan of elijah moore Let's just take a look at what PFF had to say, a couple of his stats, and just see if there's any chance. And if I can move back up with that fourth, um, it would be tempting. So this is his loud pressure. We don't care about that. We care about his receiving grades. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh. He's 20 years old. He's not even 21 yet. Elite receiving grade. Does not drop the football. 13.9 yards per reception. He's a smaller guy. The Packers generally aren't into that, but... You know, they weren't into small corners either, and then they draft Jair, and now he's one of the best corners in football. So I think they'll get over it if they really like the guy. Um, slot percentage, about 80%. It's another kind of iffy situation. One other thing I want to see is his rushing. Um, look at things like jet sweeps and whatnot that he does. You can see jet sweep, end around, and reverse. These are the kinds of motion-type things that the Packers like to use. Everything else is lining up in the backfield, which I don't care about, but you got three jet sweeps, and this is just in 2020. Three of them plus two is five. Um, all right, so he did five of those this past year. That's So he does util get utilized in that fashion. 
I'm just curious what it would take to move up. I'm just, I'm just wondering. I'm just thinking out loud. That's all. What's the team we're looking for? The Miami Dolphins. Just, I'm just making a call. That's all I'm doing. So what happens if I do a fifth? No, nope, they're not going to take it. They want that. Oh, they want to. Oh, forget it. Get out of my face. You're a waste of my life. Yeah, good. Take him. I hate Elijah Moore. He's a loser. Stupid. Ugh. Every time. Every time. Oh, and there it goes. Everybody I love. You just, you just, everybody I love. That was kind of a big jump now that I look at it. <sighs> well, we got Jabril Cox sitting here. I do like him. Um, cornerbacks. All right. All right. Yeah. Are you serious? It's. I swear this thing can hear me. It can hear me talking. I want to stop talking. You know who I love? I love Tyler Shelvin. That's. I do actually like Tyler Shelvin. Go ahead, take Tyler Shelvin. Yeah, coward. You're a coward. <sighs> All right. Well, Amon Ross St. Brown is very popular among Packer fans. I know that for a fact. I personally really like Brevin Jordan. Um, Javon Holland is a bit of a steal. The biggest concern I have is I feel like we would have to keep him at corner, which is what he primarily played in college, even though he's called a safety. I believe that's the case in 2020 anyways. Yes, let's – what are we – oh, he didn't play in 2020. In 2019. So primarily, as you can see, slot, 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 slot. So he's primarily in the slots. Did a good job doing it. He's a fantastic cover guy. 6'1", 196. Could he just be a straight-up corner? Because if he's a safety slot hybrid, it's kind of, I feel like, I don't know how much he's going to get used because we have two safeties. Now, he could be a replacement for Amos at some point, but I don't want our second-round pick to sit for a year. I mean, we've had plenty of that last time around in this draft. I'm not opposed to a third safety. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Do like Brevin Jordan. Um, Sean Wade, again, a slot guy. If I was going to go slot guy, just go Javon Holland. Trey Smith as an interior offensive lineman is an option. I'm on Ross St. Brown. We're getting in trade back territory again, although I'm going to lose all my guys. But I am, I am somewhat tempted to just drop out of this round here because everybody I like is a little bit further back. I'm on Ross, kind of the guy that's got me excited right now. Um, so 13.5 yards per reception. He had six touchdowns, 1,000 yards in 2019. 2020, he played a little bit, 11.7 yards per reception, blah, blah, blah. I do like that. I hate to keep trading back. Possibly could go Brevin, but again, you got Brevin, you got Trey, you got uh, Amon Ra, you got Tufele. Quincy Roche is an option. Um, I don't know, man. Let's just, let's look at... A tight end option here really quickly having a pan attack make sure we're recording we are it's not great 2020 a little bit better um kind of across the board how is he as a blocker do 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 ba do ba boop ba da he's bad all right <laughs> so i don't know i like him but you know it is what it is it's nothing that i'm super excited about what would it take? Let's just say, let's just go top of the third. What's it, what are you going to give me to go top of the third here? Bing, boom. Can I get another fourth? No, that would be ridiculous. How about the last fifth you've got? No? Oh, wait. What is the thing? How do we do this? You're not even going to give me a seventh? You're a loser. I don't know, man. I don't really want to pick right here. Don't really want to pick right here. Give me something. Can you? What do you have? You have. You have nothing left. You have no other picks. Bengals. You want something? You guys are desperate, right? What can I get from? Oh, oh, oh! Jeez. This is. I may have just messed up a lot of different things. That's all right. There we go. Six. Just give me the six. Just give it to me. I don't care. You're stupid. I'm wasting my time. Are you kidding me? I'm not doing this anymore. It goes Brevin Jordan, Trey Smith, Amon, Bra Amon Ross, St. Brown, Javon Holland is, is the order that it goes in. I'm going to – I don't like those guys anyways. I'm not trading back anymore. This is stupid. Oh, what are the odds, dude? What are the odds? What are the – every single person I listed, you could have taken Richie Grant, Andre Sisco. we got a quarterback sitting here. Nothing. Nothing. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. <sighs> we're taking Tufele. That's just what we're doing. I like Tufele. I do. 
Um, is that, let's see, this is, so he was better in 2018 than 2019, didn't play in 2020. He's 21 years old. He's a young guy. Um, in terms of pressures, he's not super elite. He hasn't cracked the 10% mark, so that's not obviously his biggest strength. Whatever, I like him. I think I'm just taking him right here. Marvin Wilson, we talked about in the last video. He's kind of a high-risk, high-reward kind of a guy. Fell off in a massive way. I don't know. I don't really feel like this early. I feel like taking A and you're messing with me right now. How do we get out of that? Sometimes this thing locks up. There we go. So we're not doing that nonsense anymore. We'll try to keep an eye on um, trading up. Where do we pick? Because I did amass some picks, so I feel like we should use that to our advantage. We do not have a linebacker. We do not have a corner. We do not have a wide receiver. None of that, aside from Cameron Grown, who I don't want because he's strictly a run defender, none of that I'm super excited about. Let's see what we got. Of course, the cornerbacks are all going to go. They're just taking guys from, like, the middle here just to infuriate me. At the position, just run it out. Just run the stupid thing out, will you? Okay, we're doing great. We're doing fine. Yikes. I do like Jamin Davis, man. I'm not going to lie. I mostly just like his name, which is probably pronounced not Jammin, but um, that's what I call him. 6'4", 234. He's got the coverage. Good run defender. You know he's got the speed, man. If you're 6'4", 234, I know you can move. 58.3 passer rating when targeted. That was 2019. 2020 was 666 one touchdown, three interceptions, and a pass breakup, dude. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking. Um, could certainly go wide receiver. Let's see what Seth Williams brings us here. Can you just get out of my face? I don't need you at all. I'm being talking to you crazy. Sorry, I'm talking to my tabs, which you cannot see. Receiving grades, Sivu play, 14.1 yards per reception, 8. Uh, we're still in 2019, which is always going to mess me up. 16.1, five, uh, 7.59, 4 touchdowns. Eh, I don't know. I mean, there's nothing. It's hard to find a good linebacker these days, folks. Deontay Brown, we did already get an offensive lineman, which kind of sets us in the right path, and I feel like we can get an interior guy even later, especially with the extra picks that we got. But let's just take a look if Deontay Brown gets us super excited again. He had a real good run blocking year in 2019. That fell off. It's just the inconsistency freaks me out. I've, I've already talked myself into jamming Davis. We be jamming. Just deal with the jokes, man. All right, I'm, I've, I got nothing else to do right now, okay? You're just going to have to deal with the jokes. So um, Deontay's still hanging out. I've talked about Shakur Brown. I do like him. I do, I do. Um We've got some capital. If we want to move up, what picks do we have? We've got... Uh, Two fourth round picks, two sixth round picks. We do need some stuff, so sitting could make sense, but I, I feel the urgency at corner. And if I know if I if I just let one more go, we're not gonna get Shakur Brown. Somebody's gonna take him just to spite me. Um, it's not critically important. Let's see what we get in a guy like Kerry Vincent, just to make sure we don't overly jump on something that isn't necessary. Um 5'10", 185, smaller guy, which can work to your benefit if that's the whole reason he's falling. Did not have the greatest 2019 in the universe. Was a better 2018, but we're talking two years ago, and we're talking about 600 snaps. So, you know, and the, the massive inconsistencies. One really good game sandwiched in between a bunch of really bad games. Um, excuse me for that. My nose is tickling me. Not a big fan of the Kerry Vincent. Um... Did we get a wide receiver? We didn't. So we've got a bunch of wide receiver options. We'll let it run a little bit. Don't, 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 don't. <sighs> fine. That's fine. Never liked Shakur Brown anyways. The guy was always kind of a loser in my mind. Um, if any of you football players are watching this, it's jokes, man. It's just jokes. Don't assault me, please. Huh. So we got, let's see if we love any of these wide receivers. Let's see if we just absolutely head over heels, fall in love with these wide. That's a cornerback. What are you doing? You didn't copy it. This is an amateur production here, folks. Copy is what we're going for. You working with me now? There we go. Diami Brown. Receiving grades, he doesn't excite me too much. 
Although 2020, again, I got to switch this. It's going to make me insane. 2020, man. 2020 was pretty solid. 20 yards per reception. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. 1,100 yards. 1,100 yards. 20 yards per reception. Eight touchdowns. I'm getting a little excited. A little bit. A little bit. What are we getting out of Amari Rodgers here? Um, as far as the question of what you're looking for in a wide receiver for the Packers, it's kind of hard to say. Um, they would love to get a guy that can stretch the field. They also have a real hard time working the middle of the field, so you know, it's kind of a conflicting dynamic there. Similar story. We got a uh, another guy that took a massive jump in year four. Didn't do very well up until then. Thousand yards, thirteen point two yards per reception, seven touchdowns. Big program, you know. Get excited about that kind of stuff. <sighs> Let's see. Let's just ask the question. It, it never hurts to ask. I want the Giants, New York Giants. What's it going to take, man? What do you want from me? Fifth round pick, you do it. How about this? Ooh, you would take a six. How about this? Oh, don't take that sixth. That would be ridiculous. Not the seventh. You want the second sixth? We'll do it. I'm going to do that for sure. For sure. And we're taking Diami Brown. Boom. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. And we, we were able to keep our fourth round picks. I don't really want to trade anymore because we got a bunch of, we got Darius is freaking me out. I know we already got a guy. We already got a defensive tackle in Tufele, but I do like Darius. We do need corner. I get that. I get it. Getting thin at that position. Who's the next corner even available? Let's see what Lenoir brings us. He's probably still going to be there when we get our. Why is this? Oh, because I traded up with the fourth, you big dummy. So this is your second fourth. Still curious. Still curious. Why is everybody's name so hard to pronounce? Diamadore Lenoir. That's what we're going with. And, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so we got the wide receiver. Running back. See, now this is going to get me a little bit excited here. Trey Sermon. I don't know the situation at running back, but... Right now, it seems like we got A.J. Dillon and what? I don't know. But, um, I mean, talk to me. Look at that. Is that a thing of beauty or what? Look at the running grades. My goodness gracious almighty me. Um, pass blocking, for some reason, wasn't great this year, but he seems to be great at it when he was at Oklahoma. Um, sorry about that again. Receiving grades. Um, yeah, not, not, his, not his greatest asset, but that's an exciting pick. A.J. Dillon and Trey Sermon. I mean, we're not doing much for corner here, but there's no corners to be had. That might be a free agency thing. At this point, I think we're talking free agency. So so what's next on the list? Did we get a linebacker? We got a linebacker, right? We don't get an interior offensive lineman, but I'm not worried. I'm getting Trey Sermon. I like that. I like that a lot. The, the, just the dynamic between those two guys. Ooh, ooh. And we're upgrading that offensive line, getting some run blockers in there. I like that. I didn't think about that, but now I'm thinking about that, and I like that. So I, I kind of like interior offensive line late, um, possibly another linebacker, I, maybe a wide receiver. So there's a corner sitting here. We'll look at him. I just don't feel like we're going to get a starting corner. Oh, we're in the fifth round. We're kind of at that that the edge. And I know I've looked at Keith Taylor. We've looked at these before. I don't know. I don't know. We'll keep looking. Um, I, man, we've looked at all these guys. Trill Williams. Just don't really remember. So we're getting into a pile of corners. It might be worth taking a swing. I'm sure people watching this are not going to accept my excuse of we can do that in free agency. Trill Williams had a good 2020. 80.1 passer rating when targeted. Four pass breakups and a pick. Just gave up one touchdown uh, to Duke. It's an option an option we got another one thomas graham here so it's just all no i'm not going to trade back don't worry about it i've learned my lesson believe it or not not making that mistake seven times Ooh -wee. thomas graham i may have done this in the last <laughs> in another mock too where it's like wait a minute who's my man thomas okay and again i do remember this he gives up a lot more touchdowns but also he has more interceptions and a lot more pass breakups um, 
kind of a boomer bust kind of thing. He has played a decent amount. I mean, that's a good, hefty amount of playing time. Um, don't even know. Don't We don't know his date of birth. We don't know. Okay, that's fine. What else have we got here? Nothing else I really want. It's really, for me, it's just down to, are we going Thomas Graham or Trill Williams? I don't think we did Trill last time. I don't think so. And I kind of want to just mix it up a little bit. And we get the profile, you know. I mean, we got the shorter Jair kind of guy. We get more of the Kevin Kingy replacement, although this is nowhere near Kevin King's size, but still six foot two. You know, kind of we can call it a breakout year in 2020 if we want to go that route. I don't know. Gave up less yards. Whatever. I'm doing it. We're going Trill Williams to the Packers at 157. Got to mix it up, man. And we're right back on the clock right away. So um, Keith Taylor's still sitting there, not surprisingly. Um, we're getting to the point. I do like Dalen. I like Dalen Hayes. You kind of can do whatever you want, right? I mean, it, it, there's nothing wrong with doubling up. If we want another defensive lineman, that's fine. You need as many of those guys as possible. Another corner for competition because we went late. That's reasonable for sure. Um, let's see what we got here. Thank you very much. Eh, that's not great. I know I don't like Keith Taylor. I do like Dalen Hayes. Um, let's see what Grimes is all about at wide receiver. Let's grab another wide receiver to make the fans happy. Some of them. Others are going to say we don't need it. We got Devontae. We don't need any wide receivers. It's a, it's a hard fan base to please, although compared to some. Not gonna... uh, 15.5, nine touchdowns, 589 yards. 6'4", 218. Does that scream Packers or what? I think the average, I mean, Devontae is like a midget on that wide receiver group where he's like 6'1". Six, 6'4 six is like <laughs> the average size. Can he block? That's that's If this guy can block, that's what we're doing. No, he can't. I don't think anybody can. I mean, he got better here, and he could do it here, but smaller sample size. I think you're off the off the thing. What do we get out of Jared Goldwire? I'm trying to find something, man. I just need something to speak to me. Talk to me. Give me something. That's not bad. Another run defender, 16... Uh, 14, so it's pretty similar. He's a nose tackle at nose tackle. He's not a nose tackle. 305, he's not going to be a nose tackle. I kind of like that. What do we got for defensive linemen? I wasn't a big fan of Slayton. Let's just check out Tonga, and then if that's not it, we'll go with Goldwire. Would like somebody with a little bit more pass rush prowess, if at all possible. 14 out of 264 is terrible. He's 321, so you're not, this is more of a true nose tackle. He's also better at stopping the run. You know what? I'm kind of kind of liking this a little bit more because we did get a guy that's more of a across the board to fele kind of you know whatever getting sort of a snacks harrison guy who the packers seemed to be okay with um granted that was before we got our new defensive coordinator but at least we would have a guy let's just do it i'm sitting here talking all day long let's just pull the trigger it's not like i'm actually picking for the packers um i would like if at all possible an interior offensive lineman would be fantastic Guard, center, whatever. Let's see what we got. Kind of getting into that Sidarius Hutcherson. He's gone. Tommy Kramer. Is he going to go? Yep. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Talk about reaching. Whatever. I don't care. You guys can reach. I can reach. I do whatever I want. You going to take somebody at 263? You going to take Larry Borum from me? Bunch of whatever. We'll find one. We're going to find one we like, and we're going to go with it. Because I do what I want. It says he's a tackle. I believe that's what that said. Yep, tackle. Um, limited guard experience. Could possibly do that. Not interested. Tristan Hogue. What do you got for me, Tristan? Give me the goods. Give me the juice, man. Although, 2020, dude, breakout season. You know? Breakout. Look at that. Beautiful. You play any big teams? Yeah. Pretty solid. I mean, the, the, the run blocking was really just like two or three big games and then a whole bunch of bleh. But, I mean, he's not giving up a ton. Maybe. Maybe. We're going, we're going deep on this one. 
going real deep. Another tackle. Do we get out of this tackle? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. He has zero guard experience, so I don't know where you get IOL from, but he's never played on the interior even once. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. I think this will be the last one. Another tackle. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Any thoughts? You, I, this guy's never played. We got it. That's That doesn't count. Robert Jones is the last one. Give me something. Give me the juice. Another tackle. I want to strangle somebody. Have you played guard ever in your life? Two snaps. All right. We got our guy. What do we say? This guy? Boom. There we go. That's it, folks. We're going to go ahead and save that. Um, these things are always tough. Every time I finish, it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. Could have been better. I mean, it's one of those things, too, where you don't know what's coming up. So in your mind, it's like, we'll do this, and we can get this later. I do like that we went Leatherwood first because we get a guy like Jamin Brown later, right? Zavin, a lot of people probably would have done that there. They probably would have taken him without even trading back. But I want to get that tackle. And, and if we look at um, – I didn't get this squared away, but – Let's go ahead and do it so that we have the visual. If we look at it now, Billy Turner can kick back into guard, and we can have either Runyon or Patrick play in this spot while uh, beep, 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 where is he? Elton Jenkins kicks into center or whatever. I don't know. But I want to have a solid right tackle. Right Again, Billy Turner is mostly a guard, so we got Bakhtiari. We have, um, let's say, John Runyon. We have Elton Jenkins. We have... Uh, Oh, Billy Turner, and then and, and we got some competition, too, with Mr. Tristan here, but, you know, probably, hopefully, maybe a backup. So that's the thought process. We can kind of settle in with the offensive line, and, get, and finding a long-term tackle is a massive thing. If, if he's the guy, that's huge. Um, other things on the offense, we went and got Diami Brown at wide receiver to take a swing at trying to find a complementary piece. We've already got guys that we like, but uh, get a different guy that can do different things, and that could be exciting. The most exciting thing I think I got in this whole thing is Trey Sermon, um, having him as, in the backfield and going from Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams to A.J. Dillon and Trey Sermon, I think can be a, just a fantastic backfield. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, defensively, we've got Jay Tufele as well as Mr. Tonga to come in on the defensive side of things. So if you look here, I mean, we've got guys, but Dean is not doing much. Kingsley one of those guys you hope maybe he can kind of step up and do something, but, you know, who knows. Um, Preston may be leaving. We're not really sure, but as of right now, I mean, you can see there's not a whole lot leaving here. And Montrevious, Billy Wynn, and Damon Harrison, not huge losses. But um, we're going to try to get better and add some depth along the defensive line. Um, we did get Trill Williams, which is kind of, you know, better late than never kind of thing, but – you got Kevin King and Shannon Sullivan are big question marks, which leaves Jair and a bunch of guys like Kadar has hardly played at all. Josh Jackson, maybe he's the guy to step up. Um, there's not a lot here. So, again, every once in a while you do one of these, and it's like there's, there's, there's a glaring need we're going to have to address in free agency. I think corner is going to have to be that thing. Not to say that it has to be for the Packers, and I figured that out. It's just, you know, based on this draft, hopefully we did something there. Um, and I think that's it. So, I mean, overall, biggest regrets, I don't know. Because I mean, the problem with wide receivers, if you're doing two wide receivers, you got Devontae and Alan Lazard. Anybody else you draft is going to be sitting on the bench, or you're putting Alan Lazard on the bench, who's a pretty big asset to the team. Um, we got the running back, we got the quarterback. Tight end would have been a consideration, but Tanyan is probably coming back. Tanyan, whatever. Um, Jace possibly could take a step, hasn't so far, but basically if you look at it, Jay Sternberger is right where Ta Robert Tanyan was at this point in his career. Um, Josiah DeGuara is a guy that I really like a lot. He played pretty well for like a week and then got hurt. Uh, we got the offensive line more or less figured out. We had some depth here. Um, I don't think I mentioned Jamin Brown. Um, Kamal Martin actually really stepped up. He didn't play very much, but he graded out phenomenally, primarily as a run defender, so we're hoping with Mr. Uh, Mr. Davis, we can get a nice little duo there, uh, possibly have him be the guy that drops into coverage. And then at safety, we've got our primary guys, possibly bringing back Raven Green. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. But, again, a third guy would have probably been beneficial, but it was hard to take him too early because it it's a guy that's not going to be playing every snap. But then, as you see, as things kind of progressed, it just wasn't really there. So, anyways, again, uh, let me know in the comments section what you thought about the draft. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any of these. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time.